In revealing how he wants to shape the UK's new role in the world after Brexit, the Prime Minister stepped back 300 years here to the magnificent old Royal Naval College in Greenwich and those frescoes that chart former glories. Where now? We are re-emerging after decades of hibernation as a campaigner for global free trade. But the paradox is, for the EU, we are moving from the freest trade deal in the world to something, well, less free. I want to lay one myth to rest. We will not engage in some cutthroat race to the bottom. We are not leaving the EU to undermine European standards. What Boris Johnson says he wants is a free trade agreement with the EU modelled on Canada's. And that means no tariffs on imports or exports and no limit on how much we can trade with the EU. But the EU is saying that for that better deal, it would want legally binding commitments that the UK wouldn't engage in unfair competition by slashing taxes or lessening workers' rights or weakening environmental protections, all of which Johnson rejects. And another sticking point for the EU would be access for EU fishermen to UK waters. And if all were to go to pot, we'd have an arrangement similar to Australia's with the EU, which would be the equivalent, some say, of a no-deal Brexit. What is so terrible about the idea of agreeing in a treaty those standards won't fall below <laughs> EU standards if a freer trade deal with the EU, a better deal with the EU, will make the country richer. I, I think it's very unlikely that the EU I would agree any treaty uh, by which they had to do exactly what we decided to do. And as I say, by the same token, uh, we are not going to uh, do, that, do the same. But the EU's chief negotiator suggested personal promises from Boris Johnson wouldn't be enough. We must now agree on specific and effective guarantees to ensure a level playing field over the long term. So is there any basis for a compromise? We have seen it all. It's, it's negotiations. It's a huge relationship. There are 28 countries involved, uh, institutions, competences involved. Is, is a complicated, is a really complicated negotiation. So. The Prime Minister says he wants to complete all negotiations and have a deal by the end of this year. Is that realistic? The idea of doing that in 11 months, where from the start you are announcing uh, opposition to the EU position, strikes me as, as unlikely. An audience of ministers, ambassadors and business people applauded Johnson's aims. Now he has just 11 months to make them a reality. Robert Peston, News at 10.